While I welcome unto God's presence this morning, I'd like to read a memo sent on from God's servant. You know, we're in a commission that is under one shepherd, doing one thing and following one instruction for time. <coughs> Declaring operation by all means, dominion greetings to you in Jesus' name. Some other, some other may be wondering why this unending kingdom advancement operation in this church. As we may all be aware, every kingdom advancement operation in this church till date has always led to supernatural change of levels for all that believed and engaged with them. Many have experienced perennial change of levels. Many have experienced dramatic change of change from sickness to health, defeat to victory, failure to success, poverty to prosperity, and etc. Much more importantly, souls have been rescued from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, and many children of devils are now established as children of living God. This is what informs our insatiable grave for souls to be saved in this church. And as you all know, God wants all men to be saved, and many are yet to be saved. Multitude in the captivity, in the kingdom of darkness, many are on the verge of suicide. But what, why must the saved be brought to church? For their preservation, for their sanctification, for their access to the blessings of redemption, for their spiritual growth and development. But what is in all this for me, or for us? We enjoy divine health, we are empowered for triumphant living. We continue to prosper in all our ways and much more, etc. However, something to note about spiritual stewardship is that our rewards must always meet us on duty. When serving God and the interior of his kingdom becomes our self-imposed necessity, new chapters open up to our lives supernaturally. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, operation by all means, scheduled to run from for the next four weeks that is july 8th to august 4th 2019 is about flagged off may each one of us receive the grace to bring souls to the kingdom and get them established in the faith by all means in the course of this operation in the name of jesus christ amen. say a louder amen. amen therefore every one of us must honor jesus at, with at least one established soul in this church in the cause of this operation by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, nothing shall be hindered the access of every one of us to a multiple change of levels as in the case of Joseph in this prophetic season in the name of Jesus Christ. Remain ever blessed, Jesus Lord, signed David O. o in the Hallelujah. Give just a big of praise. Like I, like I once said, every exam period is a dual mood for every student. Every exam period brings a dual mood. That is, it's a mixed feelings. You're about to be promoted, but you're about to face some challenges. You're about to be promoted, but at the same time, you are about, there's a demand. In the same way, these operations, they place demand on us, but they are meant to change our levels. So I'd like to encourage us all, don't hear it and say they've come again. If you have your own heaven, don't give it attention. But if you are pursuing the same heaven where God is, give it attention. Because the ultimate reason why we are living is to meet with Jesus, true of us. If you are living for hell, fire, raise up your hand. No one. <coughs> Excuse me. If you are living forever, raise up your hand. So if heaven is your focus, souls must be your drive. Because one thing that takes you to heaven is the source you will reach out to. What you sow is what you reap. If you sow a seed of adversity souls, you have sown a seed of having a seat in heaven. So I'd like to encourage us all, please don't put aside that like just say that one and put that aside. Pray to for us. Let's go. Please be conscious that it's for our change of levels. And I pray these four weeks will change our levels. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. 
Shout a better amen. amen. Something amazed me on a Thursday. Remember, one of the things that is synonymous with this uh, Winners Chapel Pretoria Church is testimonies. On Thursday, I shared it with those with some people in the morning. Somebody sent me a message, Pastor. I cannot. Um, I'm going through excruciating pain, and now I cannot walk. So, immediately I saw the message. I picked up my phone and um, called the person. As I called the person, I was not hearing her. She was not hearing me. So I got a message from her. I said, Pastor, I cannot hear because my the speaker of my phone is not working. So what do I do? Okay, fine. In the name of the Spirit, I can touch you. I just typed a message. As you read this message, I decree every pain disappears. And I decree, rise up and walk. That's all. Devil can stop network. Devil can stop my spirit. Devil can't. That's why you see, don't allow devil to distract you from where your blessing is waiting. Because he will do every, he will use everything physical to stop you. But if you are spiritual, you overtake him. And I send a message. Immediately the lady received two minutes. She go back to me. Now I'm healed. Now I'm walking. She rose up and walked on the spot. I didn't call, just reading message to the glory of Jesus. Just reading a message. And guess what? I don't even know her. So it may be because maybe I'm connected. There's no connection. It's only spiritual connection. Why am I do I always share these testimonies? So that you can be highly expectant. That if you are present and presently present, there must be a difference. This morning, there will be instant signs and wonders in this service. But the question is, are you expectant? What is your expectation? Expectation is the mother that gives birth to manifestation of the hand of God, of the wonders of God. So please be expectant. You came here with any sickness, with any disease. You came here with any affliction. You came here with any pain. Last Sunday, worship night, come and see God doing wonders. New heart, new, new heart, new lungs breathing well different things that god did instantly so therefore expect the god of wonders to show forth in your life in this service amen. shout a believing amen. amen our teaching series on sunday services has been i mean is unlocking the supernatural like you've heard i'm redeemed a wonder to my world say i'm redeemed a wonder to my world say i am redeemed a wonder, a wonder to my world. I remember some years ago, I told myself that I refuse to be a bastard to my God. I refuse to be a bastard. If you are not a wonder, you may look like a bastard to God. Because God is ever a wonder. So if you are not a wonder, you can be likened to a bastard. A genuine child reflects the image of the father. A fake child does not look like it. If you're not a wonder, they may call you a bastard. You don't reject it. Because that's who you are. You don't show it. A genuine son shows the image of the father. A genuine daughter reflects the qualities of the mother. So if God is your father, to be a wonder is supposed to be normal. Not the prayer point. <laughs> It's not a prayer point. It's a, because gene automatically get transferred. Genes, DNA. They are. You don't pray that Lord help me to have the gene of my father. Help, no, you don't pray it. It is automatic. In the same way, getting born again initiates us to the world of wonders. That must be well understood if you must operate in the supernatural. I like us to know this morning, like I said. The teaching series is Unlocking the Supernatural, Part 1A. The supernatural is the manifestation of the world. We receive. Please, if you are here with any health challenge, with any challenge, please be ready to drop it. Be ready to do what? Be ready to do what? Because you see, what you are not ready to drop can never drop. What you are not ready to drop can never drop. When I'm briefed, somebody I was prepared to pray for last Sunday by the grace of God, to God's glory, in, um, in the temple. 
She has been having power. I put on my status for four years. Four solid years. Four solid years. And after third service, pray for her. I said, go and check in the toilet now. That is ready to drop it. Go and check in the toilet. She went to the, to the ladies, checked it. He said, it has shrunk. Come back again. She came back again. I said, go and check and come and tell me now. That is reflecting God. She came back. I said, by the grace of God, pray for her again. Go and check again. She came back. Power disappeared on the spot without operation. Without see, you may not understand because what you have not gone through, you can't know what it is. Four years power disappeared without surgery. Four years power disappeared without any surgery. There's no, there's no cutting. Pray first time, go and check. Pray second time, no more. What am I saying? In this service, be ready to drop that asthma. Be ready to drop that sickness. Anyone buried in this service could carry their babies. Please believe. The supernatural is the manifestation of the word we receive. The word we believe and the word we obey. Which God confirms into signs and wonders. Which God confirms by signs and wonders. The supernatural is the manifestation of the word you receive. Now, when I was privileged to pray for this lady, go and check. She could have gone on from there. Go and check what? Is that all? You just pray for me one minute. Say, go and check. But she received it. Thereby, she believed it. Thereby, she obeyed it. And thereby, it became a sign and a wonder. She received the word. I said, go to the hotel. Check, ladies, go and check. She received it. And she proved she received it by believing it. She proved she believed it by obeying it. And the God of signs and wonders turned into a testimony. John chapter 1 verse 12. The Bible says that as many that received him, as many, as many that received him, uh, to them he gave power to become sons of God, even those who believe on his name. Hear this. When we receive the word, we enter the word. <laughs> That's a mystery. When we receive the word, we enter the word. Our receipt of the word, our, our receipt of the word, or acceptance of the word, pushes us into the world of the world. And when we are soaked in the world, we are being transformed by the world. If you see someone that is being, you know, jumped inside a pool of blood, when it comes out, you see blood dropping. In the same way, when we are when we receive the word, we are being thrown in. I mean, we enter the word, and the word does what only it can do. It can do. Even those who believe on His name, Mark sixteen, verse fifteen, and He said unto them, Go into the world. All the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth believe and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And they went forth and preached everywhere. And the Lord was walking. That's verse 20, 20 now. With them, confirming the word with signs following. In this service, there will be instant signs and wonders. Amen. Be ready to drop your glasses. Be ready to see clearly. Be ready to see every trace of asthma, kidney challenge, liver problem, lung challenge, breathing challenge disappear. Expect it because your expectation is what set the pace for God's manifestation. When we expect, we, pro we prompt God. We prompt God to act. And this morning, I see God acting on your behalf. The supernatural is as physical as natural. The supernatural is as look at that Sunday. I mean, last week one of us said, Pastor, share a testimony. They said I have glaucoma. Okay, it was on Wednesday. They said he has glaucoma. He came to me. 
I said, you don't have any glaucoma. Pa. Went back for a check. Doctor said, there's no more glaucoma. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. You see, the supernatural is as real, as physical, as natural. It depends in the realm you operate. She, he came to me. Pastor, they say, I have glaucoma. I said, no glaucoma. Just like the same way. I said, they came to me that, uh, somebody called me that. They said, my daughter have done this. I said, no, no John is anywhere. They did test four times. No John this. Because you see, what we say is as good as what God will confirm. I said, no glaucoma. That was the end. Went for test. Medical report shows no more glaucoma. In the same way, every medical report written concerning you, I negate it in the name of Jesus Christ. I negate in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be ready to drop it. Everything doctors have said that God has not written, be ready to drop it. They say you have fibro, drop it now. Say I drop it. Now, right now, close your eyes. Say I drop every negative situation in my life. I drop them. I drop them. I drop them. Say it now. Say it now. Say it now. I drop what? Mention that case. That is a prophetic word. It is a prophetic word. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. As I drop it, it's dropping off. 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 It's dropping off you right now. It's dropping off you right now. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Drop off. Drop off. Drop off. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, I'm free. No, it's the person beside you. Don't just do it properly. So that they won't be fighting the church. <laughs> Say, I'm free. Say, I'm free. Say, I'm free. I'm free. Say, I'm free. I'm free. You see, don't play down on what God is capitalizing on. God capitalizes on your speech and on your acts. So don't say, oh, Pastor, at my age, say, I'm free. No, no. <laughs> if you mock what works, you end as mockery. Don't mock what works. That is what works. Right now, there are a few testimonies that God has initiated now. Because in your body, you can see a difference now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give just a beginning of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Remember, the teaching is unlocking the supernatural. But if you must unlock, you must have a key. If you must unlock, you must have a key. Therefore, the key that we'll be focusing on this morning, one of the keys, is the key of the word. The key of the word. Please behave as someone who doesn't know anything for God to do something in your life. Behave like somebody who does not know anything for God to do something in your life this morning. You say, what? What is in the word? I can even preach the word more than you. It's fine. Please don't behave like that. Behave like God. Let the word have entrance into my life. Let the word change my life. The key of the word. Now, I like to say something here that is very important. The Bible says, in the beginning, the word. In the beginning, the word. John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning, the word. In the beginning, the word. In the beginning, was the word. In the beginning, the word. In the beginning, the word. Whatever you begin with the word will always work wonders to the end. Whatever you begin with the word will always work wonders to the end. Whatever you begin. Some people don't like coming to, to me for relationship. They are scared. Many people. The one I know, the one I don't know. Because they say, okay, which scripture God's given you? He always scares them. What is scaring you? It, because you see, now the truth is this. If you allow God to set the pace, God will not lie. What God says to one, he will say to another person. So why are you, come? Why are you, why are you scared? In the beginning, the word, anything that does not have the word as a foundation will never last. Anything that does not have the word as a foundation can never last. Can never last. Build your relationship on fornication. You will soon experience frustration. 
build your relationship on you know on 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 on, on money i'm telling you you will mourn at the end it is only the world that has the best of blessings without a side effect in the beginning the world the reason the why the reason why the world is still standing is because the world if the whole world was being created by the word of god this is the word this is why this is because the word is the root for the production of the fruits of signs and wonders the word of god is the root for the production of the fruits of signs and wonders why the word gives back to faith faith give back to action action give back to expectation expectation give back to patience patience bring promise but the word is the root it goes through a process it goes through a process so the word is the root that gives you know stem it gives branches it gives you know different branches before it brings the fruits that's why if you don't that's why those who have miracles without the world they don't last with the testimony until you possess the world you don't have the world Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, And a rod shall come from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. You can see, a branch shall grow out of the roots. The rod, the word, is roots. So when you are worded, you are rooted. When you are qualitatively worded, not just quantitatively qualitatively you can quote scriptures if it doesn't have quality it doesn't have results quality is understanding if you don't have the word you don't have the rod if you don't have the rod you can't do science exodus 4 17 he said take this rod in thy hand with which thou shalt do science take this rod in thy hand the word you have is a rod for science. The word of God in your hand is a rod in your hand for signs and wonders. The question is this, which word have you received concerning your marriage? Which word have you received concerning that business? Which word have you received concerning that career? Until there is a rod, there can't be a sign. Until there is a rod, there can be a sign. There is need for you to get a rod. People don't like coming to me because they know that I will say which scripture. What did God tell you? If you run away from such pastors, you will run forever. Because you only get people that will want to prophesy what you want. That's nonsense. When they are not there, how will you run your life? If the word battered the world, only the word of God can control anything in the world. If the word of God birthed, that is, gave birth to the world, then only the word of God can control anything in the world. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. The Bible says, He upholds all things, upholding all things by the word of his power and Hebrews level 3 he said we know that the whole world was being framed by the word of God Hebrews 1 3 Hebrews level 3 so everything in the world has its root in the word therefore this morning I see God changing your story by his word in the name of Jesus Christ can I hear a lot of amen Shout a louder amen. amen. Now, I will, in first and second service, I'll, I'll break, by God's grace, break down some dimensions of the world. 
in this service, I'll mention two dimensions of the world. Two dimensions of the world that birth the supernatural. Number one, the right word. Say the right word. Say the right word. Hey, sir, you need the right word. Only the right word can give you a right life. Only the right word can put you on the right race. Only the right word can change your situation from the wrong place. Right word. Right word. Right word. Right word. Lord, I need the right word for the hour. I need the right word for this journey. Job 6.25 the Bible says, how possible are right words? Right words will compel God. When you have the right word, you compel God because when God speaks, he stands to defend himself. When God speaks, he stands to prove he spoke. One million dogs cannot confront one lion. And why how do I get my assertion? Simply because none of them want to be a scapegoat. Not because a colony of dogs cannot finish a lion, but because none of them want to be a scapegoat. Even the fear of lion scares them. Even the fear to smell the urine of lion scares them. Not as if one lion can finish them, no. But because of the fear, ah, it must not be me. It must not be me. The same mentality in your mind. When we receive the right word, we commit the God of the world. Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee and Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil laboured him, and behold, angels came to minister to him. Now look at me, everybody. From Matthew chapter 4, from verse 4 to 11, thereabout, <laughs> devil came to Jesus with the word of God. Devil came to Jesus with the word of God. Jesus had to use the word back. <laughs> devil brought another word. Jesus brought another word back. Ha -ha. Devil brought another word. Okay, now, get it behind me. Right word. Since you know scripture, I will use my authority. Right word. Hey, devil knows scripture more than you. Not to know scripture makes you a victim. Makes you highly vulnerable. I mean the devil quoted scripture for the owner of scripture. Hence, you need the right word to heal the devil at the head. The devil will call scripture to you that ah, the Bible says that he will protect you. Go on that journey. Don't worry. Of which is not the will of God. Right word. We need the right word in the midst of turbulence. We need the right word in the midst of challenges. We need the right word to silence the scriptures from the devil. He said, get them behind me. Ah. It is written first time. He also said it's written. It is written second time. He also it's written. Ah, he said it's written. Okay, get it behind me. Right word. Right word. I pray this morning, Jehovah God will speak that right word in your direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Without the right word, you may never assess your level, your next level through Christ in life. Without the right word, you may never. Jesus will have been quoting scripture, quoting scripture, quoting scripture. If not for the right word. Glory to God. While this service is going on, I would like everybody to. make up a list at intervals a list of enough is enough just a tear sheet of paper and write the things that enough must be enough remember I said you must drop you have just some of them 
but before the service ends, you are dropping all of them. Say a proper amen. amen. Say a proper amen. amen. So, we need the right word. Say, I need the right word. Father, I need the right word. Also, number two, second dimension of the word that generates wonders is the sent word. Say the sent word. Say it, let it enter the spirit man. Say the sent word. He sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them. <laughs> the word sent is a deliverer. Hear this? The sent word is the present God. The saint word is the present God. The saint word is the present God. And mountains tremble at his presence. Mountains melt at his presence. The saint word is the present God. When the word is sent, God is present. And when God is present, wonders are inevitable. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent his word. And the sent word delivered them from all their destructions. From their destructions. I decree by the power of the sent word. Every affliction is terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Every oppression is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a better amen. Please believe in the amen you are saying. Don't just say amen because pastor say, say amen. Say amen because an end must come down after you. Glory to God. Matthew 8.8 8. The Bible says, The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. That is, send the word. Just send the word and look at verse 13. Matthew 8, verse 13. The Bible made us understand that Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, as thou hast believed, so be it. So it be done unto thee. And his servant was healed that self same hour. He sent his word. The sent word went on errand to carry out the demand. This morning, whatever you have been carrying for years. Today it shall be dropped. Amen. It shall be dropped. Amen. Signs and wonders are raw, manif- are raw confirmation of the word for those who believe. Signs and wonders are raw confirmation of the word for those who believe. And they went forth, preaching everywhere. And the Lord was working with them, confirming the word with signs, with signs, with signs, proofs, evidences, signs, signs, with signs, with signs. Today, you will see the raw power of God. I say you will see the raw power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 9 verse 27 but Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up Matthew 9 Matthew 9 verse 27 sorry Matthew 9 27 the Bible says two blind men ran to Jesus and followed him crying saying that son of man David have mercy on us and when he was coming to the house, the blind men came to him and Jesus said to them, Believe ye that I'm able to do this? And they said, Yeah, unto him, Yeah, Lord. And verse 29, And he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be unto him. If you can believe, you will see the wonders of God. If you can believe, 
you will see the wonders of God. If you can believe, you will see the wonders of God. And in this service, there shall be a raw manifestation of God's power. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. However, for the world to produce the supernatural, number one, we must receive the word. Receive it. Like I said earlier on, John 1 12. Receive the word. Receive the word. Matthew 13 23. Matthew 13 23. But he that received, he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word. Understanded it, which also bear fruit and bring forth some hundred, some sixty, some thirty. So when we receive the word, it brings testimonies. When we receive the word, it but wonders. When we receive the word, it multiplies with change of levels. I pray this morning that God will change your levels. God will heal you all the same. All over your body, it will heal your body. Acts 2.41 Then, they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Verse 43. And fear came upon every soul. And many wonders signs were done because they received the word. Signs and wonders will always follow the seat of the word. When we receive the word, signs and wonders must follow. Acts 2, 41 and 43, they received the word. And the culminating effect was signs and wonders. Number two, they leave the word. They leave the word. The word you believe is the word you be, is the word that becomes real in your life. The word you believe, I believe I can never be sick. And I've been saying for 19 years. <laughs> I can never be sick. I just believe. I've not seen the witch. I said they've tried me 58 times in this Pretoria. 58. 58 times. Because I believe it. Between devil and God, who do I believe? I believe God. 58 times. Not, I was, not only me was told, people were there that had it. He, grew, he said, Lucifer hates you. He must hate me. He said, you are a major problem in Pretoria West. Yes. When you believe the word, you carry God. <laughs> you wear God. You carry God inside. The word you believe becomes real in your life. Luke 1 for the 5. Blessed is she that believe it, for it shall be a performance. Every time we believe, God becomes real. Every time you believe, God becomes real. So real. Because in the realm of the spirit, everything is touchable. The way I'm touching this flower, that is the same way in the realm of the spirit, miracles are touchable. Miracles are handleable. Miracles are ish. Change from terrestrial, enter celestial. Change from ordinary, enter extraordinary. Change from natural to supernatural. But faith is the changing factor. Faith is what changes you. <laughs> Say, hear this. Faith is another world. The world of faith is the world of the spirit. It's not a natural world. So your faith is in the world guarantees possibilities in the midst of uncertainties. Your faith in the world guarantees possibilities in the midst of uncertainty. Mark 9.23 If thou canst believe, all things, say all things. Say all things. I believe anything is possible. I'm telling you something. I believe. Any, my faith is my choice. How can you believe that? Is it your brain? Is it your mind? I said, I believe I can come flower to human being. It's your choice. Say your own. Nobody can say, why did I say that? Does it touch you? In the same way, I believe I can become a mortal billionaire tomorrow. I believe I can buy five cars tomorrow. I believe. You too believe. Your faith is your choice. If you can believe in God, all things, say all things. All things. Say all things. all things. Diabetes can leave your body now. High blood pressure can die now. Impossible is your choice. If I don't go to hospital for anything. Because if I go, they will say nonsense. So my Bible is my theater.
spiritual theater. He said everything was made by the word, for the word, in the word. Even the doctors, they took their people with the word. Carry this mentality, I believe in God. And God will make it happen for me. God will make it happen for you today. Number three, speak the word. If you must see supernatural, speak the word. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Jesus said, I mean, the Bible says, it is written, much only by bread alone. Verse 7, it is written. God, Jesus was giving, it is written. In fact, verse 6, Matthew chapter 4, verse 6. The devil said, ah, <laughs> if, I mean, if there be son of God, for it is written. The devil said, for it is written. <laughs> he shall give his angel child of consanity, and their hands shall their, shall their bear thee up, lest at any time he will quote it verbatim. Devil is smart. He knows scripture. No command was there. He, he full stop was there. Devil. Devil use it is written that I, I shall call it way. <laughs> Devil quoted it, but he said, "Get them behind me." The right word. Remember, Acts three six. Acts chapter 3, verse 6. The Bible says that um, silver and gold I have no. But me, I have silver, I have gold. But such as I have, I give unto thee. In the name of Jesus Christ. He spoke the word. And um, when you speak the word, you engage the name of the word. Philippians 2 10. In the name of Jesus Christ, every knee was must bow. When we speak the word, the name appears to defend the word. When we speak the word, the name appears to defend the word. Because he remains faithful. He will not deny himself. When we speak the word, we are standing, we are raising the banner of the integrity of Jesus. Therefore, his name shows up to back up the word. Philippians 2.10 Number, number 4 Behave the word. Behave the word. When Peter said, "See, I'm going to have not the name of Jesus Christ rise and walk." What did he do in verse seven? The Bible says that he took him by the right hand, lifted him up. For it is, he remember, it is written, "Let the weak say, I am strong." He took him by the right hand and put it up and lifted him up. And immediately, when we behave the word, we become to look like God. When we behave the word, we start looking like God. Because the word you behave is the word you become. He behaved the word. He took him by the right hand and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, he leaping, and, leaping up and stood and walked. Someone who has been crippled for years. This morning, every affliction in your body is terminated. Yeah. Stagnation is over your family. And number um, five, activate the world. When you behave it, then activate it. How do you activate it? Put more actions. Put more life. Activation is in dimensions. How do you activate? Take step of faith. One, two, expect it to happen. Three, exhibit the joy. Of the of, of, of the happenings. How do you exhibit the joy? With joy shall you draw from the wells of salvation. So when you are joyful, you know, somebody that is being told in the village, a woman of 70, whose son has never given birth to a child before. They just called, Mama, your daughter is now pregnant. She has not seen the baby. Listen. Why? Activating the reality of the expectation. He said, hey, who are you? He has not seen the daughter. He said, he's pregnant. Pray what? Ah, after 10 years, be dancing. Why? That is activation in process. Activating testimony. Yeah, baby. But you know there's something. In the same way, you know something is coming. Start dancing. Start rejoicing. Start celebrating. Start giving God thanks. And I watch, I tell you, this week, you will celebrate. Yeah. This week, you will rejoice. Yeah. This week, you shall celebrate. Yeah. 
This week you shall rejoice. This week, this week you shall rejoice. Every shame is turning to glory. Every shame is turning to glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. John James, I beg your pardon, James 2, 17 and 18. He says, show me your faith without works. I will show you my faith by my works. Because faith is dead without works. Faith is dead without works. So start working it. You need job. Wake up in the morning, tomorrow morning. Wear your suit. Well, if you don't have suit, wear your shirt. Pastor, I don't have suit. Don't worry. Wear your shirt. God will not look at your suit to give you a job. He will look at your heart. When your heart is right, suit will come. Where do you wear? I said, Father, I thank you because my job. Pastor said my job has arrived. And I believe. Okay, go to work. Which work? Go to the robot. Before you get to the robot, you receive a phone call. It's very simple. Take step. Take step. Take step. If you stay there, nothing good will happen. If you take a step, something good will happen. You remain where you are. I'm telling you. I'm telling you my practical life. I'm telling you the truth. I can. If I were not to be a pastor, I can't be poor. I'm telling the truth. Because the truth is this, you cannot understand the way and still be confused. The way is to take step. Take step. Rejoice. When you receive the word like this, celebrate. Everybody I pray for, I tell you, check yourself now. Check yourself now. Check yourself now. Because now is gone. Not later. Not yesterday. Now is gone. Yes, it's yesterday. It's now. But now it's gone. Now faith is.